Hey everybody, welcome to the first day of school. Hard to believe this is where we are, isn't it? But you know what? We're gonna manage, we're gonna be okay. And that's because you've been doing stuff like this all year long. You've been doing distance learning, you just haven't really realized it. You've been working independently, you've been finding comfortable places, you've been pacing yourself at your own pace. All those things are the same kinds of things we're gonna do now, now that we're distance learning. The big difference is, um, you're gonna be at your house and I'll be here at my house. So the challenge is gonna be what are you gonna do when you get stuck? So I want you to remember if you get stuck and you need help, reach out, come talk to me, um, shoot me an email or put yourself on Schoology and respond to the thread that's between just you and me. Um, and I'm gonna be checking those every day to make sure that um, if you need help, that I'm there to help you. Um, we're also gonna practice some um, video conferencing, so I don't know exactly what that's gonna look like, but I'll know more um, as we go on, and I will actually reach out to a couple of you maybe to test it and see. So there's a possibility that if you actually need help, we can talk face-to-face. Uh, -face. So let's talk about your day. Um, every day, you're gonna need to do a number of things, and I've made a schedule for you. It's, it's not really a schedule, more of a list of things you need to complete each day. So let's talk about it. And here we go. Here are your daily tasks. All the things you need to do in a day. The first thing you're going to need to do is do my morning check-in. So that will just be an assignment or an update in Schoology that's going to give you an idea of what we're in for the, for the day um, and something to do. Now, it's really important that you do the something to do because usually that's how I'm going to be taking your attendance. So it's important that you check in so I can mark you for attendance. I will mark you for attendance as here if you do the check-in for the previous day. So on Tuesday, I will mark you in as present if you've done the check-in for Monday. So make sure you check in every day. You're also going to need to make sure that you read for 60 minutes every day. Now, just like in class, I suggest you break that into smaller sessions, say two 30-minute sessions. You could even do a little math in between, but make sure that every day you're getting 60 minutes of reading. Now, one of the good options for this time might be to go to Newzella and read a Newzella article. Again, make sure you're checking that because there's going to be days where I assign you a Newzella article to read. But that would make a great 30-minute session for you. Remember to take the test. You're also going to need to make sure you do some math every day. 40 minutes of math. Now, I would suggest maybe you do two 20-minute sessions with, say, a brain break in between. But you're going to need to make sure that you're working on math every day for 40 minutes. I'm going to be checking. You're going to do your work just like you always have in the units in Schoology, um, and, but I will be giving you comments or help or pushes in your th um, conversation thread that is just between you and me. So also make sure you check there because that's where I'm going to be saying, hey, you know what, I noticed you're having trouble in a particular unit. So math for 40 minutes. Then I want you to write for 20 minutes. Now, to begin with, uh, I'm not going to start us off with our new writing project quite yet. That'll take a couple of days before I'm ready to do that. But this would be a great chance for you to do some free writing. What I'd like you to start with is journaling about what you've been going through and what you've been doing since you've been quarantined and out of school. Write for 20 minutes. And lastly, I want you to work on your specialist classes for 30 minutes every day. Now, you're going to need to check in Schoology for each of these classes. You're going to need to look for your art class, your science class, and your gym or PE class. So every Monday morning, the specialists are going to put all of their assignments for the whole week into each of their classes in Schoology. So you need to check. Those assignments will be due by Friday, so you get to pick the order that you want to do it. If you feel like doing gym on a particular day, do gym. If you want to do science on another day, do science. But you need to do all of the assignments for every class, so make sure that you're checking all of the folders and all of the classes for each of the specialists. But here is the cool part. You get to do any of this in any order you want. You can also do it at any time that you want. You want to do it in the evenings or late at night, you go right ahead. Want to do it in the mornings and get it all out of the way? That's fine. Want to do reading first, then a little math, then a little reading, then a lighting, then a little specialist? Great. 
Go ahead. You choose. But be aware that I'm only going to be around to help you during normal school hours. So if you email me or if you post something in the Schoology class asking for help, I'm not going to respond in the evenings. So you'll have to wait till the next day. But again, you get to pick the order that you want to do things in. All right. That's kind of it. Remember to check in each day to go at the speed that's comfortable for you. And please, 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 please stay safe. Please stay healthy. I miss all of you so, so much. I wish things were different. I wish I was with you each day. I miss seeing you in a class every day. Uh, and I hope this ends sooner rather than later and we can get back to what we would think of as normal. But until that day, stay safe, stay healthy.